Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that has been much debated in the film community for decades. That is the difference between videography and cinematography. Many people think that a cinematographer is somehow just a higher paid videographer, but it really isn't that simple. Cinematography and videography are two very different jobs that accomplish two very different results. One job is not better than the other by any means. They're just two different roles in two different kinds of filmmaking. The simplest way to put it is that videography captures what's in front of the camera while cinematography creates a story by manipulating what's in front of the camera. And if you're ever confused which one you're doing, ask yourself the question, how much control do I have over what I am shooting? If the answer is, very little to none, then you're doing videography. If the answer is you can change it however you want, then you're doing cinematography. Cinematography is the art and craft of making motion pictures by capturing a visual story. Story being the key word here. Cinematographers are working with the director who is in total control of the content that they are creating. Cinematographers are involved from concept all the way to post-production. They don't just document, they create. When we think of cinematography, we think of movies, but it can also be TV shows, music videos, commercials, all of which uh, transport the viewer into another world. And that really is the goal of the cinematographer. The lighting, the composition, the color grading are all tools that the cinematographer uses with the director to tell that story. It all matters and it's all manipulated purposefully to bring the director's vision to life. Before we get into videography, I want to get rid of the misconception that videography is somehow a lower paid, less prestigious form of cinematography. In reality, videography takes just as much skill, sometimes more, and can be very highly paid sometimes a lot more than a cinematographer. Most cinematographers also have some skills of a videographer, but they are very different jobs. Videography is much more on the go and you have to be ready for anything because you can't go back and do it again. You can't do another take like you can in cinematography. You're typically working independently, shooting live events like sports, games, corporate videos, news coverage, uh, and weddings, which I'll get to later because that falls right on the middle of cinematography and videography. There's no director to yell cut and do a retake. You just have to capture it as it happens. Videography is more documenting than it is creating. It's capturing the world as it is. And as such, it has a ring of truth to it. It has a ring of journalism to it. If you were shooting a documentary, yes, you can control the lighting and to some extent control the angle. But if you start feeding the subject of your documentary lines and getting them to do things, now you're not just going into the world of the cinematographer, you're also sort of compromising the truth of what it is that you're recording because your subject isn't doing those things themselves. You're telling them how to do it. You're telling your story rather than capturing their story. So videography, for better or worse, is capturing what's in front, not creating. On a Hollywood film set, there's no such thing as a videographer. The person operating the camera is called the camera operator, and there's usually several of them, all under the direction of a cinematographer. So what are some of the technical differences between cinematography and videography? Videographers often use a zoom lens because they don't have time to change lenses uh, and do another take. You also get zoom lenses in cinematography, but not as commonly because prime lenses are faster and usually higher quality. And you have the time to change lenses while you do another take or do go for the next setup. Lighting is also a huge difference between the two. Videographers sometimes do use lights especially in ENG or electronic news gathering scenarios where you see the reporters outside the courtroom with the on-camera light so that you can get a nice, beautiful illumination on your journalist. But if you are using lighting, it's usually on camera and it's usually pretty minimal. Because think about it, if you're capturing the world as it is and you start lighting it, you're now creating the world as you want it to be, which is a different job. 
Cinematographers, on the other hand, are very dependent on lighting, and lighting is arguably one of the most important elements of a cinematic scene. And it's almost always crafted instead of just there for illumination. Cinematographers pay close attention to light, the brightness, the temperature, the size, the direction, all to enhance the story and emotion of the scene. So if you're thinking about becoming either a cinematographer or a videographer, how do you choose? In short, which job is going to be best for you? It really comes down to your temperament. If you're more physical, hands-on, and uh, an on-the-go, fast-paced environment, then videography could be a really good match for you. And you'd like to express yourself through the images that you're creating, cinematography might be a better match. Cinematographers take direction from the director and almost always work as part of a larger team, which includes the lighting, the gaffers, the camera operators, camera assistants, and much, much more. They negotiate budgets and schedules with the producers. They work across other department heads like sound and production design. It is a very collaborative, very communicative role and suits people who are not only great at listening, working with others, but also forcefully putting forward their point of view. Videographers, on the other hand, typically work independently or one or two assistants, and they work either for the client if they're giving footage afterwards, or they work under the supervision of a director if they're working on a live production. Sometimes what draws people into cinematography is also what makes them bad at that job. Why? Because they mistakenly believe that it's their vision that they'll be bringing to reality. The classic cliche is the cinematographer who wants to paint with light and interpret the script as they see fit. But if you talk to any of the successful award-winning cinematographers, they will constantly go on about how this is a collaboration to bring the director's vision to life. If you are a run and gun type shooter that enjoys the adventure of capturing live events and loves to travel, or you're the artistic type who, who loves the prospect of the creative process and bringing a story to life. Let's go back briefly to the wedding question, because this is a hotly debated term, whether the people that shoot weddings are cinematographers or videographers. But most shooters at weddings are capturing what's in front of them, trying to add some shallow depth of field, trying to add some cinematic lighting, but really they're not in control of what's happening. And as a result, I personally wouldn't call it cinematography. That's it for today's video. Hopefully I've been able to provide some clarity on this debate, just my perspective. If you enjoyed this, check out Canon Masterclass. I have a ton of tutorials there, including lighting, but also deep dives into individual cameras and how to get the most out of your filmmaking. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.